So we've got this fishing event here and everyone's looking to make gold from it. Um, I've got a few things to say about it. Firstly, if you're new to this game and if you're poor and you're trying to get some gold, I really don't suggest playing this event for some reasons. And some of those reasons is going to be, firstly, if you go to this vendor right here, if you buy 100 fishing bait for 50,000 gold, the cheapest fish in the auction currently, which is going to be the fish you guys are going to loot the most because it's the cheapest, meaning it's looted the most, it has the highest quantity, the lowest demand. So you loot 100 of those 500 gold fish, you sell them for 500 gold each, you just made 50,000 gold. Actually, you make less than that because you have an auction tax, an auction tax fee you have to pay to list that those fish. So you make 40,000 gold, you spent 50,000, and you used over an hour of your personal time to capture these fish. So, that's the downside about this event. I'm not saying it's all bad all the way around, but most of the time, it's, I mean, it's, a, it's like a slot machine. You're set up to lose, but you can make a huge we return playing this event. You don't have very low chances to lose gold, but the chances are there. It's going to happen to some people, but if you are struggling with gold, I don't suggest playing this event. You can get free um, bait by playing quests right here. So, things I suggest to play this event. One, if you're comfortable with gold, or if you don't care to spend some gold and lose some gold to have a chance to make a profit, go ahead. I mean, life's all about risks. It's fun to take. You may win big, you may go home with nothing. It's just how it is. Um, let me see something real quick. So, wow. A legendary fish which has a lower chance to drop than the cheapest fish is 800 gold. 300 gold difference. That sucks. By the way, luck items don't work in this event. Like this pendant. It won't help. Luck doesn't help this in this event. It's like playing the lottery. That's what type of luck it is. It's like playing the lottery type of luck. You have a low chance to win. But if you win, you win big. That's how it is. It's not super low where it's impossible. It's not like that. Of course, you're going to loot a mythic fish at least if you play it a couple hundred times or even a hundred times. Or even less than that. But just understand that you have a chance to lose gold. And that chance is going to be pretty often. Um, the downside about the event is... If you was to cast your line out into the ocean here and walk just one step, it cancels that cast. It's stupid how that works, but it does that. So you have to watch out to not like watch what you're doing so your character doesn't move. Um, if you fail the assignment that is brought up upon you to capture that fish, you lose the bait. So that's another downside. So expect a return of 80 out of 100 on bait depending on your ping your ping has to be good because this game is all based about ping like if my ping was bad and i sat here fishing the event that pops up on my screen would um expire before i can even react to it because of ping it's dumb how it works but that's how it is. Also, a thing I need to mention is I'm always telling you guys, play events. You have a chance to lose something good. They'll make you rich. Here's the thing about that. Just keep in mind, I say chance. I always have people coming up to me saying, 
Oh, I farmed this a hundred times. I farmed this a thousand times. I didn't loot anything. Can you please help? It's RNG. If we all sat here fishing and looting Dugger Daggers every time we caught a fish, Dugger Daggers would be worthless. You have to understand. Supply and demand is a thing that exists. That is why there will be people who will loot good items. There will be times people don't loot anything. It is a thing that is common. It's everywhere. So, this event, if you want to multitask, do something in real life, cook, watch a movie, play a different game, do whatever. That's what I suggest. It's something to sit back. You don't have to sit here attacking mobs. You don't need overpowered gears. You can sit back, fish, and chat with friends, and do other stuff. So, next thing on the list is going to be the Awakening event. We have the Awakening event next, and as I said in my previous video, save up as much gold as you can so you can hoard the blue gems. I always tell you guys this, not a lot of people listen to me over anything. I rarely have people who listen to me, but the ones who do turn out to be successful. So, I've got 731 million gold right now. I'm saving up to 1 billion, and I'm going to make a video of me spending 1 billion gold on blue gems. 30,000 each. So that's going to give me about 33,000 gems. Later on, I'm going to sell those gems. Maybe I could do the math here. I don't think I can. Let me put my calculator real quick and tell you guys to return. So say if I buy 33,000 gems for 30,000 each, for a billion gold, or whatever, I sell them for 45,000 each later on. 1 billion gold just turned to 1.5 billion gold. So, that's how big of a return I can be. It's crazy. You guys are always like, oh, I want a few million profit. I always want to do this to make a few million profit. Go by percentage. Don't go by how much millions you can make. If you go by percentage, that's where it hits big. That's when it gets big. Because I can go out, I could buy uh, dragon stuff for a million gold in the towns, for example. I could sit there all day so wasting 10 hours, 12 hours, or whatever on this game, sitting in ch uh, town, spamming the chat, selling dragon stuff 1.5 million, and never have anyone buy it. I sell it for 1.3 million, I make 300,000 gold, but I spent 10 hours spamming a chat. That's not worth it. Hoarding items. I sit here, I spend a billion gold on 33,000 gems. I log off this game, I can do whatever I want in real life, I can do whatever I want, I can log in the game, I can message people, I can set my house, you guys see me all the time, I am. I'm AFK all the time, but somehow I'm pulling in millions of gold. I'm telling you guys every trick to make gold in this game. But there's a lot of people who complain. All I'm going to say is stop complaining. Complaining does not fix problems. Actions will. Also, I told you guys. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys seen it. I sold these gems right here. I sold thousands of them. For uh, 155,000 each. Everyone called me a plat farmer. Those statements were invalid. I'm not a platform or else I'd be banned already. I told you guys, like a year ago, January, buy these gems. No, no, before January. The previous awakening of it before January. Buy these gems right after that event for 90,000 each and just hold them. Some people did. I did. I bought 8,000 to not, or eight to 10,000 of them for. 90,000 each. I resold them for 155,000 each. You know what I did in that time? I AFK'd. I chaffed my friends. I logged off the game. I worked in real life. I didn't have to sit there in a town spamming the chat, trying to make one or two million profit, and wasting all day of my time. I just do whatever what I want. Do whatever I want. I'm trying to teach you guys that. Very few listen to me. And it sucks. Everyone takes my words as I'm stupid or something. 
and then accused me of a lot of false information or false things. It's crazy, but anyways, I'm going to end this video here. Just please start listening and you will not be struggling with gold.